You've watched the commercials. Don't do it. You've seen the news coverage. Don't do it. But what if there are a way to use this deadly drug to help sick people? That's what UM graduate student Thomas Rao and his colleagues at St. Patrick Hospital are trying to figure out. And methamphetamine, I'm sure, is very, very addictive. But if you could, if you could utilize this as a treatment for someone who has had a stroke, I mean, it'd be something that you haven't seen with any other drug that they've attempted. Researchers thought meth would increase the damage from a stroke. Their research showed low doses actually improved brain function in stroke victims, but they don't want to send the wrong message. The message is out there that it's damaging, and, and, and some people have been a little concerned that we might be challenging that, and that's not the case at all. So far, the test subjects have been rats, and researchers are apprehensive about expanding to humans. And that's something else that we're trying to figure out exactly what is the mechanism, so maybe we can fine tune it and have a more precise therapy that's, that maybe even be more effective. I'm going to smoke this just once. Researchers don't want to undermine the message of the anti-meth campaign, but there may be hope for a positive use for this dangerous I drug. Smoke him for meth just once. Reporting for UM News, I'm Kirsten Locke. I'm going to try meth just once.